Hi guys, my name is Joan from Restorational Bike and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix sticky bicycle shifters. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Uh, this is a 1991 giant cold rock mint intended for my daughter and the right shifter was actually broken or uh, broken and the left shifter as you can see it was really gummed up. Now the reason is that the shifter is gummed up is because it works with a ratchet and ratchet pulse and as uh, you can imagine that from a bike from 1991 that in the course of three decades almost three decades the the oil or grease or whatever they used inside the shifter dries out which causes the ratchet pawl to not work now this is the ratchet pawl and as you can see it hardly moves um, um, i don't recommend disassembling this entire setup um, i did because it's really difficult to reassemble it consists of like 15 different parts very small this is the individual lever with the ratchet pawl. It contains the pawl itself with a tiny spring coiled around it, uh, which can weaken. And here you can see it working. It's in, it's in better working condition because I sprayed WD-40 on it and reloaded it with sewing machine oil. After I did this step, which is... Um, submerge the entire shifter I'm sorry for the quality the lighting was low inside uh, a bowl of water around 40 degrees which I believe is 105 Fahrenheit after I, I did that and cleaned it and dried it a bit sprayed some WD-40 on it this is the left shifter for the uh, the rings in front for your crank set and basically uh, what you need to do is just move it like a gazillion times to let the oil seep into the parts where they need to go. And if you do that, uh, um, so you've cleaned it, you spray WD-40 on it, and you lubed it, it should be in uh, getting back into working condition. It should operate smoothly again. And here you can see me putting a drop of oil on the ratchet pawl. It should work. And then what you need to do is just reassemble it again, get it back on the bike, and you're good to go.